the Quran Lee app. Subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging, and fun. Download it today. Assalamu alaikum, guys, and welcome to another episode of Smile to a Jannah. <laughs> Shame on you! A couple of days ago, the British football club Blackburn Rovers tweeted the following. Any Muslim supporters attending tonight's game against Morecambe who need to pray their Maghrib Salah, that's the sunset prayer, during the second half, please ask your closest steward who will direct you to our multi-faith room in the Blackburn end. <laughs> Whoa! What's going on here? As Muslims, we're familiar with the verse, a reminder is beneficial for the believers. But we would never have expected a football club in a million years would give us this reminder. <laughs> I mean, it's quite embarrassing for us. A lot of us don't give dawah, yeah? Propagate the message. And here you have a British football club that's giving dawah and propagating the message. Mashallah, brother! I mean, it's the very sport that causes people to miss their prayers, is encouraging them to make them up. So I think you guys will agree with me when I say, Welcome to the Brotherhood, Jannah Rovers. Yeah, maybe not, yeah, but it definitely goes to show that Allah can utilize anyone and anything for the propagation and spreading of this religion. Yeah, we are duped into thinking that this religion needs us. <laughs> Shame on you! When the reality is that we need it. It's important that wherever we are, be it in school, at work, yeah, be it shopping or football, we make sure that we plan around the salah and around the prayer. Yeah, prayer is so important. Yeah, it's one of the five pillars of the faith for God's sake. Yeah, and you guys know the deal with the pillar. If a pillar is, you know what I'm saying, a bit wobbly and a bit damaged, the whole building is finished, mate. Ask any architect, mate, he let you know. You're finished. You're finished. You're finished. You're finished. And of course, the first thing to be questioned on the Day of Judgment will be your Salah. In a 2009 study by the International Journal of Psychiatry in Medicine. Yes, when a name is as long as that, you know it's got to be certified, yeah? So it, it found that prayer calms the amygdala, responsible for a number of things, yeah? For emotion, fear, threat detection and stress. So calming that is very important, yeah? Especially in the fast paced lifestyle that we are living in, especially here. Uh, I would say it's not even in the West, it's everywhere, yeah? It's everywhere, we're constantly on the go. Fast food, fast mail, fast cars, yeah? Everything fast. So yeah, whilst we're constantly living on the edge, Salah offers this peace. Yeah, this reflection, this positive, I, I mean, I'd say it's good for our health, both physically and spiritually as well. Yeah, but let's get back to the football, yeah, because there's, there's three points that really stood out to me, yeah, and the first was this. It shows that Muslims are having an impact on this club. Let's be frank, because this prayer room isn't something new. It actually was started in 2018. And let's be honest, it probably began of some simple-minded Muslims who worked there, who were praying on the job. They were unashamed of their religion. They just loved the game, to be honest. And number two, the excuse that some of us give, oh, it's, it's too difficult, mate, it's too hard. So now, not only is it your local imam and your parents that are reminding you, now even your local football club is reminding you as well. What are you going to say now? Oh no, I need a personal salam from Cristiano Ronaldo. Salam alaikum. And number three, some people claim they are too sinful, yeah? And they are distant from God and God is distant from them. This is a prime example of how Allah reaches out to his servants through a medium that they understand. When, let's face it, a lot of us, including myself, would never have imagined in a million years that tweet like this, where your own club would be encouraging you 
to pray your Maghrib Salah for God's sake. You know what I'm saying? We would never have imagined this in a million years. But Allah, that's why we, yeah, or the local angry Muslim mob that tells you that you're in the hellfire and that person's out of the the uh, the manhaj and this and that look islam they don't have a monopoly over islam islam is and has belonged to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and allah wrote on his throne that his mercy will overcome his anger yeah he's ar rahman yeah he mentions that before he says allam al quran and that he sent the quran we have so many narrations, the most popular narration that Allah tells us even if our sins were to pile up to the heavens, as long as we ask for forgiveness, Allah will forgive us. Yeah, but of course it has to be sensei. It's not some, some sort of joke thing that you do it and then tomorrow you're doing the same thing again. It has to be sensei. And I'm just going to end with this guys. Don't take this religion for a joke. Yes, we all have dreams and aspirations, but Islam is needed. It's a vital ingredient for the fruition of those dreams and the success of those dreams and that's why you've got people like Timothy B. Smith and others who have looked into 200 studies yeah then you've got Brian Johnson and others who have looked into 498 studies and all have pointed towards religion leading to less depression less abuse of drugs and less suicide yeah so we need the religion more than it needs us. May Allah give you and me the ability to fully comprehend and understand this. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.